Hey guys, I'm putting out a quick video to discuss the issue with not being able to smith legendary weapons. Flesson and I were discussing this in detail on his Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, stop by it. We have a bunch of regulars. All combined, we have tens of thousands of hours of experience in Bannerlord. Stop by if you have questions. After discussing this a bit and doing a lot of testing, it seemed like there was some logic behind what was going on. So I jumped into DN Spy and found the issue. It's not a bug, it's intentional. This bit of code is called after the modifier is selected. The modifier is a representation of the quality of the weapon you just crafted. Here are the modifiers for crafted weapons. I can cover the logic that determines which modifier is chosen in another video. If there's enough interest, let me know in the comments if you're interested. These modifiers are essentially just numbers, but replacing the numbers with names that our human brains can understand better, and we can write code using the names. The numbers that these names represent are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the names can be used in expressions in the code. So at this point, the modifier was already chosen and passed into this method as weapon quality. The logic starts by determining the average tier of your crafted weapon. It does this by adding up the tier of each crafting piece you used and dividing that by the number of pieces you used. So if you used two tier one pieces, the tier of the weapon would be one plus one divided by two or one. Technically, the none is a piece, a tier one piece to be precise. The game may crash if there's no piece in that part of the recipe. So they created a piece called none that provides no stats and made it a tier one piece. On weapons like pole arms that can have none for guard and pommel, you would have to add two tier one pieces to the calculation. So if you had a tier five blade and handle, the calculation for the average tier would be five plus one plus five plus one divided by four, which is three. We can think of this as the average tier of the pieces. Then the first condition checks to see if that average tier is greater than or equal to 4.5. If it is, leave that modifier alone and return it. What this means is, if you used, for example, all tier 5 pieces, then all modifiers are possible, including legendary. If that condition is not true, so the average tier is less than 4.5, then we check to see if the average tier is greater than or equal to 3.5. If it is, then we check to see if the modifier is less than legendary. Here, we refer to that list of modifiers. If it's essentially not legendary, then return the modifier as is. If it is legendary, downgrade it to masterwork and return the new modifier. Here's the first place that can change the value of the modifier. To clarify this, if the average tier is between 3.5 and 4.5, and you rolled a legendary modifier, this code will change that to masterwork. Next, if the average tier is less than 3.5 and the modifier is less than masterwork, return it unchanged. If it's masterwork or legendary, downgrade it to fine and return that new value. This is the other place that changes the modifier. Any weapon whose average tier is less than 3.5 cannot be Masterwork or Legendary. It can be, at best, Fine. Fine weapons are actually called Balanced in the game. That example polearm I used earlier would not be able to get a Legendary or Masterwork modifier. The intent of this is to not allow you to craft low-tier Legendary or even Masterwork weapons. You probably notice that you only create at best, a balanced weapon during early smithing. If you ever wondered why, now you know. This was changed in version 1.2.3, and it's in the patch note. If you missed it, don't feel bad. We missed it too. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. You can reach out to me on Discord or in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.